Welcome to Bitcoin Privacy with me, Nosy Mouse. In this video, we'll be covering the topic of address reuse. Address reuse, as the name would otherwise suggest, is the act of using and reusing the same address for different transactions. Let's go back to our previous example of a simple spend transaction with one input and two outputs where Bitcoin Q&A takes its 50k sat and pays me 11.5 thousand sat and gives the remaining changes back to himself as the second output. Let's have three more simple spend transaction examples similar to this one, where I receive different amounts in each of them. If we just focus at the transaction's output, we could see that the only thing in common between these outputs is the receiving address. Clearly, I've been giving out the same address to others to send me funds, which is a problem because anyone who has my address is able to query the Bitcoin ledger and find out how much I have on this particular address. Not only that, they will be able to see every transaction I have ever made or received. This is an obvious no-no for privacy. If we zoom out and take a look at the simple spend transactions input and their respective change output, you may notice that every sender had their change output address the same as the one they have sent from. They are sending the changes back to themselves, which makes logical sense but it means these senders' privacy were also being compromised from the same address reuse problem described earlier. All I have to do now at this stage is to associate their identity to that single address they were reusing. Query the ledger and learn the entire transaction history and monitor for any future transactions. I think it's pretty clear at this stage that the disadvantages of reusing address would bring to both the sender and the receiver. I could easily tell you not to reuse address or give out the same address to different people regardless if the address has ultimately received funds or not. So what are more practical ways to prevent address reuse? Here's a few strategies. Pick a wallet that has the ability to generate more than one address automatically, unlike this one here. So how do I identify if a wallet has the ability to generate multiple different addresses? Look for something called HD Wallet or BIP32. They have the ability to generate addresses deterministically from a seed. Or even better, a wallet that supports BIP39, which gives you a seed in a form of a mnemonic phrase, which you could back up easily. Wallets such as Samurai automatically generate new address every time you select receive. And if you click on advance, you'll be able to see how many addresses you have created before this one. That's the end of the video. I hope you have learned something. I'll see you in the next one.